everyone, this is Sue and welcome to my cafe slash showroom area of my studio. Um, as you can probably tell by now, I'm trying to show you guys the minimum of the space because I don't want to spoil the fun, but I've started painting. I mean, I've painted with Benjamin Paint before and I've enjoyed each and every single time, but I've never had to paint a space where I was going to open it to you guys and it just it's the whole process is so different because whenever I'm painting and the color comes out correctly or more than perfectly I'm just so excited to show you guys and I can't wait to see all the pictures that you guys take here and how you enjoy the space and how you marvel at the colors and how nicely it all came out so it's just like there's more of a motivation in creating a space that I can share with you guys than, than when I was doing my home. So without further ado, let's just get right into it because there's a lot that happened with the painting of these two um, spaces alone. Sorry. I really love self-painting because by now, after having done it for about like four times, it's something that I really know what to do from A to Z without any help from Che or the internet. It's something that I can be really autonomous about and that's really empowering. And there's something about opening these cans of Benjamin Moore paint because these are freshly made cans of colors for you. They have not been stored on the shelf and pre-made. We've got to do the primer. Honestly, primer is not fun, but it's important if you want your colors to really come out nicely. So I'm going to be spending the next few hours on doing something that I know is important, but is not really that fun. homes in Korea that have the same paint on the ceiling as the walls. Most of them are moderated in a white tone or a grayish tone so as not to have one color overbearing the entire space. But for me, the ceiling is so important in creating a wholesome mood. And for me, if you're gonna go through the trouble of painting a space, you might as well paint the entire space and make a statement really excited because I chose amazing colors. Once I actually paint them over, it's just always a hundred times more fascinating than I had ever imagined when I picked out the colors. And it's there's something about having a colored space that makes it a whole lot special and experience walking into a room that's not just plain white or gray or beige. It, just, it makes you feel like you're, you're in a special space and as if something special is going to happen to you and I kind of can't wait um, to share that experience with, experience with you guys and I guess what I'm trying to do is make more colorful Korean homes. <laughs> After you come to this space, maybe you'll realize that if your house is painted um, in a beautiful blue or a beautiful color that you just don't even know how to name it because it changes its hue in every kind of lighting 
then maybe you'll want it in your space too. And I can assure you that it'll be something, that it'll be one of the best choices that you ever made、um, for your home. So, anyway, I should get back to painting the primer. Sorry. Okay, so first we're going to color the cafe slash showroom in beeswax. This is a really beautiful color that I've been wanting to paint my space for a really long time, ever since I decided to create this space. And I've looked at color chips of other brands before, and I've never been able to find the perfect amount of orange, perfect amount of brown, perfect amount of yellow. And so honestly, I was so happy when I found the right color on Benjamin Moore. When you're creating a space, there's nothing more frustrating than when you can't find the right ingredient or material that you have planned in your mind. And sometimes when you have to succumb to whatever、um, the market offers, after all you've done to create a unique space, it's really demotivating. So I was really thankful for the existence of Benjamin Moore when I was creating this space, where I want all corners to be full of inspiration and creative intention, because I feel like this space is a reflection of who I am that I'm going to share with you guys. So it's really important that everything comes out perfectly. I can see the natural color、um, pop out, and just the entire space change. And I can't wait to paint the ceiling. Sorry.
Okay, so the real trouble besides my hole in the pants begins now. Never have I ever, within the seven to eight years of experience of self-painting, which includes bathroom tiles, which can be tricky, had this much trouble painting. The ceiling that we took off in the beginning of the renovation for this space revealed to us this concrete surface. But the surface was really uneven and it had a lot of small corners and edges and also parts of the concrete was falling off due to age. So there were a lot of holes which the roller or the brush could get the paint into. So, I mean, the paint and I were doing fine. We were doing our best, but it's just we couldn't cover the surface as evenly as possible. So there were little areas that weren't being painted, which just made the whole space look really messy. On top of the difficulty of looking up and painting, the messy result was really getting into my head and I was getting really exhausted. So this may not seem like a big deal. I mean, by now you guys probably know that I like natural things and I like things that are raw. Just like in our home, we have this pillar in the middle of the living room, um, which in usual homes would have covered with something else and colored it white. But I decided to let the industrialness of it show. But remember that I painted the pillar to kind of soften the blow of the steelness of the material. I kind of like to have fun with my definition of what is raw and what is kind of unexpected. And this roof to me was completely an unintended rawness and a level that I was not really comfortable with. To me, it just seemed like failure and a compensation and I could not stop at it here. So we needed to devise of a new plan. I color the ceiling, but because of the structure, <laughs> it didn't come out as well as I wanted it to. So we're going to try and use the sprayer for this. I really didn't want to use the sprayer, but I think that's the last resort that we have to go to. And I'm very sad because I was determined to finish this space and move on to the next tomorrow, which is the blue. Um, but we're gonna have to take it slow. But the, as far as the color, it's really beautiful and amazing. And I'm very happy about the choice that I've made. But I feel like the ceiling, the quality of it, as even though I tried my best, is actually minimizing the effect of the beautiful walls that I painted so perfectly. So. I'm going to try that with a new technique tomorrow. Sorry. I just realized that I've painted four of my own spaces and I've used overall five different colors of Benjamin Moore paint. My sculptor, Summer Mist, Harley Quinn Blue, and Blue Dragon. And it's not something that I did deliberately, but it's just that whenever it comes to changing the tone of a space, setting the mood of the space, I always choose blue. And I think it's because it's the color with the most potential. It's impactful enough to inspire someone, but at the same time, it leaves you enough space 
so that each and every one who steps into the room may evoke a different kind of emotion. For this space, I was determined to color the wood into the same color of the blue as well. And looking at the wood, I realized that it has little panels, so it would look like one of those beach house fences that I've seen a lot in Danish countryside when I used to live there. And they have really beautiful faded colors, faded by the sea, by the waves, by the wind, and the sun. So I guess I kind of wanted that effect in this room. In the beginning when I was just realizing the interior effect that painting can bring into a space, I always wanted to pick the most vivid colors because I thought that that would really impact a change. But now I'm realizing that even if it's a very subtle color, just a drop of blue or red or pink and it's really enough to define the space in a completely new and renovated way. So depending on the mood that you want, figure out which kind of blue you really want on the Benjamin Moore website.
anyway that's it for um today guys i hope you guys really enjoyed this video because i've enjoyed filming this and painting this and creating the space and i feel like with a paint here finally you guys probably can get a grasp of what this space is going to look like and i'm just so excited because from now on there's only going to be prettier things coming in imagine the tiles in this space it's going to be amazing anyway i still have two space three spaces to color um this kitchen the bathroom and the exterior um the exterior which is not going to be that easy and the tiles which isn't going to be easy because they are tiles um so <laughs> stay in tune for more guys um and let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought and cheer me on <laughs> so till the day that we open this space adios